you know, looked at Sierra and I looked at her baby bump and just thought about, you know, our, our baby that's on the way. I got to thinking like more realistically about what I need to do so I can be there more as a father and as a husband. I will at this point also be hanging up my wings. <laughs> Hey, how's it going guys? So we are coming at you today with some new life events coming up. Um, it's time to reclass to something different. And it's time to move on and do other things. So uh, yeah, we're really excited about this. But uh, you know, I was talking with her and she basically told me that whatever decision I made is what we would go with and you know, that's what we would stick to. and. You know, I got to thinking more so about being a first-time dad and then, you know, just being a husband. I thought about past experiences with how training, how deployments, and just even time leading up to training goes. Like, it can be long days. It can be demanding on um, any spouse or any family. I've decided that um, it's best for us to reclass and uh, go on to something different. So, yeah, we are also very excited about that. Um, first of all, the new MOS. I won't reveal that just yet because I want it to be a surprise for y'all. And same thing with the new unit. But um, I just decided that I wanted to do something that was a little bit slower paced. Um, but also something where I'm learning a whole new skill set that will be applicable towards, you know, even I can help my family out with this. So um, I'm very excited about that aspect, you know, being able to get into the army learning uh, mindset again of course more some training coming up but I mean it, it'll be simple it'll be easy uh, nothing that I can't handle and you know when we come out the other side I'll be able to stay home more I'll be able to raise my family and you know that's that's really what I decided that's uh, like when I sat down with my retention NCO and thought more through um, thought through what I wanted for myself in the next few years I knew that I wanted a new skill set I knew that I wanted more time with my family and I knew that I wanted something where she wouldn't be up you know so many nights just worrying about how I'm doing so yeah um, with that said um, this means that I'm also going to be hanging up my airborne wings so yeah uh, plan to give these to our kids someday I've got plenty of sets like this but uh, yeah, just going to be hanging them up and keeping my boots on the ground for the foreseeable future. And, um, you know, I'm excited about this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's a different, it's going to be a whole different lifestyle too because, you know, we were in a lot of lifestyles. A, we were in the 82nd, which is a lifestyle within itself. Like, it's a huge community. Yeah. And, um, you know, just past, present, uh, soldiers that were in the 82nd like they'll announce it so yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny yeah. but um yeah then the next community i mean i guess it goes hand in hand it's airborne obviously but you know that expands you out to different airborne units just the camaraderie and then lastly the um the camaraderie of the infantry um as you know infantry like hard charger uh just it's an interesting mindset it's very active uh, it's very intense and I enjoyed the adrenaline rush of the infantry while I was in for sure um, the deployments were uh, they were they were uh, I'd say pretty intense though like I don't think that she needs to be you know concerned about how um, her husband's welfare is while she's you know, now especially going to be home with kids and, you know, I just want to be there. And, um, yeah, there's going to be aspects that I miss about it. But, uh, like I said, the opportunity to learn new things, uh, to meet new people, to see new places, but be, most importantly, with my family more is what uh, I'm the most excited about, really. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, maybe what were your thoughts, really? Well, um... 
like Sean said, when he first came to me and let me know that like we were in the reenlistment window, I kind of told him, you know, well, I mean, whatever you want to do, I'm going to support you just like I always do. I didn't want to make him feel like he had to do anything rash or anything that he wasn't going to be happy with just because we were, you know, expecting our first baby at that point. But he kind of like, you know, took some time and thought about it and decided on his own that he would like to be able to be a bit more present, like he said, which of course I'm 100% happy with. Um, I do look forward to him being around more, uh, especially since like, for instance, up here, it was literally just me, him and our dog, Noel. So, mm -hmm. you know, whenever Sean would go off, it was just Noel and I together. Like, and yeah, it's better than being completely alone, but like still, she's just like mm -hmm. our little puppy, you know, so it, it could be scary and you know, just whatnot. And I know that, you know, it's part of the life, of course, mm -hmm. but I mean, still it's like, I'm human with emotions so if my husband gets sent away it's just me and my little puppy dog like you know so things like that of course could still technically happen but not as much as when Jean was serving in this what they call first responder unit which is like up there with the others as far as the ones that are first ones boots on the ground mm -hmm. you know so not being on the ready all the time like we literally had a rotating schedule of being on the ready within a certain amount of hours to deploy anywhere in the world so with him having a bit more stability in that sense i also feel like he's going to enjoy it because he's a very like he's tough don't get me wrong he's super tough but he's also a sentimental man and he enjoys like the small things in life and i think um being able to experience more small things in life like something as simple as him coming home while the sun is still out and being able to like enjoy the sunset together mm -hmm. like stuff like that um a lot of times sean will be out super late training like they're out there in the field like overnight they're out there in the field until over in the morning like it it can be crazy especially if they're training specifically for mm -hmm. something so of course you know i was used to that i just you know have my dinner and then when he got home i have his dinner ready and things like that but just being able to enjoy dinner together more yeah. especially as a family when the baby comes um being able to obviously i'm not going to like be expecting him to get up every time i get up at night or anything crazy like that but you know just having that option if he wants to is going to be nice um and just being able to like he was saying spend more time together as a family um something a bit more safe now he is what I would call an adrenaline junkie, okay? He's like one of those guys, if you guys saw his um, video, if not, I'll link it, um, where he went hiking up in the mountains and he's just like having the time of his life and I'm just like sitting here watching the footage like, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> like I need like a brown paper bag or something because he's like standing at the tip of mountains like, climbing to the very top standing in the clouds like all kinds of crazy stuff so he's always been like that i've never necessarily tried to change him from being like that but i do i do think he understands that like when you are responsible for not just a wife which of course obviously i want him to be safe but i think it's different when there's like a little person yeah. i think a lot of that kind of went into probably your your processing of deciding what you wanted to do but like i said we'll see y'all if he still tries to climb up mountains and stuff are you still going to be doing that crazy stuff well you know i definitely plan to like keep it like nature oriented as far as the adrenaline junkie stuff you know i used to like to do things like like you said go uh, hiking or climbing up to tall places and um i used to like the white water raft too mm -hmm. just you know i don't i get joy out of uh adrenaline pumping experiences and of course you know the airborne definitely could have been like a adrenaline pumping especially you know you're on an aircraft and then you jump off of it like 800 yeah. or a thousand something feet over yeah. over the earth's surface i mean it's yeah it's pretty exciting stuff but yeah um obviously need to do something that's i'm thinking more so along the lines of safer for sure safer because by about rafting and hiking at least your feet are on the ground i mean yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um you know i am definitely going to miss certain aspects about airborne mm -hmm. but i feel like as a new parent that it's the more responsible thing for me to do right now um especially since you know like 
there were so many nights where she was just home alone and it'd be her and Noel and I just got to thinking like you know we're he we're here by ourselves like if she ever needs help well there's nobody for miles around and you know that's just that's yeah. something that should make I think any uh, spouse uncomfortable yeah. so I just wanted to do something where a you know I could be home more uh, as her first line of you know needing somebody like I could be right there mm -hmm. um, taking care of my boo <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know and if she ever needed any help then we could be you know closer to a, a, another support uh, chain as well but um, yeah I'm also excited about um, you know I can't give away too much just yet uh, that'll be in a different later video, but uh, the things that I want to learn uh, versus the things what I like, what I've been doing, it's just it's mm -hmm. gonna be night and day pretty much. Yeah. Um, you know, infantry. I was more so just focused on like weapons training and going out and blowing stuff up and and things of that nature. Whenever mm -hmm. it came to training. Yeah. And uh, you know, I got to decide thinking more about that too, because even training. Uh, can be, you know, a, a safety hazard as far yeah. as like your life expectancy. Yeah, it, it's not just like a worry for deployments for some of the crazy training that they do as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like it can be scary. And um, I mean, like, like we've both said, we know that it's part of the life. And Sean obviously was attracted to, you know, what that entailed when he first signed on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people grow and priorities change yeah and I think that's just you know it's time for us to move on yeah like yeah. I remember when I first joined into the army I was like trying to go for the most intense things I was like <laughs> babe that bray over there that's green I want that one and yeah you know I actually pursued that for a little bit but you know after I got to thinking more about it like even back then I backed away because yeah. I was like oh no 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 this is not gonna be good for me and her and so I decided, you know, uh, to stay airborne and, um, you know. As if that was much different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, as if that was much different. But, you know, it has been um, an intense yeah. past few years, for sure. Yeah. Saturday, because, you know, we, we're probably going to have, like, Saturday nights, family night, you know, and our kids mm -hmm. are going to be like, oh, God. Yeah. Who yeah. wants to play Jenga kids? <laughs> bringing out the old Jenga, they're gonna be like, Dad, we don't want to play Jenga. You always play Jenga. I'm like, Mom, please, there's a party. <laughs> Dad wants to play Jenga again. So you know. You're gonna have all your lives to hang out with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be those parents, yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, so we we do plan to have like scheduled nights and whatnot when it's fun. This is two new beginnings. Mm -hmm. um, this is two. Not having to be out in the field so long, a week, sometimes weeks at a time, or the times before that where I'm just coming home, just dog tired. Um, this is to not being as you know dangerous as uh, shooting live weapons and yeah. jumping out of airplanes and all this other uh, all, all this other hard charging stuff. You know, this is to more like you know, guys, y'all are gonna benefit from this too because now I'm gonna have more time to like vlog and you know, be with her. <laughs> so like, this is gonna be good for, you know, just everybody, really, mm -hmm. honestly. Like, yeah. I think this is gonna be a uh, a good experience for for not just us, but for y'all. You know, we just haven't had time to film her, like posting new content, just like, where's yeah. Sean, it's here. You know, he's out in the field somewhere, just <laughs> sitting on, I mean, that's a life, man. You're like, that's that's pretty much how it goes. But, you know, it's what you signed up for. <laughs> you knew what you were signing up for. Yeah, so anyways, um, like I said, again, hanging up the wings here. Hanging up the wings, y'all. Yep, and uh, maybe these will be going to our firstborn baby here. Um, you know, we are just excited to tell you about this news. Um, we just wanted to bring you along, share this uh, information. Uh, obviously more to come or more to follow mm -hmm. but um, you know again this is more about being here for my wife being here for my firstborn child uh, learning skills that would um, be effective not you know just in the military but 
you know, in pretty much all aspects of life. I, yeah. I think that's what I'm most excited about is that it just transfers everywhere. And, you know, I can also be there and uh, help help my babies. You know, where I go to next and what I'm doing, it'll be a mystery for now, but <laughs> I promise you'll find out. Um, you know, again, excited to be here uh, with her and excited to be getting to spend more time with her and y'all. Uh, that's really what matters the most to me. Um, and then especially as a, an expecting dad. So, yeah. you know, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the stability. Like Sean said, we'll be bringing you all along with us. We'll be sure to include you on any other life updates we have. You guys, make sure you stay tuned. We'll definitely have some more super fun, super mm -hmm. exciting things coming for our family, which includes you guys. So um, stay tuned and keep on the lookout for more baby updates as well because we're going to bring you guys along for this entire journey. We're super, super excited mm -hmm. about it. So we look forward to like showing you guys all kinds of things that we have planned. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we hope that you guys enjoy this chit chat with us and we will see you in the next video. Yeah, and be sure to hit those notifications too. Yeah. Here, here. I know I make this joke a lot, but <laughs> I, do, I don't know. And just until it translates over into the computer. But anyways, all right, so next time, bye.